is what's known as an ecotone. It's a place where a number of environments transition into one another. So just a short distance to the east, we have the coastal plains, the Blackland Prairie, right? Very different kind of environment. Up here we have three micro environments coming together. We actually have the Edwards Plateau proper to our west. We have the Balcones Canyonlands and the La Paz's Cut Plains. And then when you go down into our little creek valley back here, you're going to see it has a completely different environment. So that's like living in the alley between H-E-B, Randall's, Lowe's, and Home Depot. <laughs> Everything you could possibly want is right around you. And if one of those resources is hurting, that's okay. There's lots of other ones. And people gravitate towards ecotones. In a good ecotone, it takes about 20% of your time to survive. It takes about 85% of your time if you were farming. Which one would you choose if you got a chance? You know, we, we laugh at those Staples commercials, you know, with the big easy button. Mm -hmm. Human beings love that big easy button, you know. If, if all things are equal, I'm going for the easiest one every time. So hunting and gathering in a good ecotone is really, really simple. We always think of that as somehow as barely eking out a living and everything. Nah, they have a lot more free time than we do. It's actually a really easy way to get along. So we've got a, a good ecotone. We've got springs, so we, also, we have water. Well, we have another thing here too. This is all ancient seabed. Okay, it's, that's what limestone is. And in that limestone, when it was seabed, something else started to form. And today we call it chert or flint. It is the finest material for making stone tools you can find worldwide. It is stronger than steel. It breaks in a predictable fashion with very sharp edges. So it's great stuff for making tools. We get lots of it here. Um, I get a lot of people say, you know, well, um, these people here weren't very bright, right? Because they, they, you know, hunting and gathering, that's a, that's a horrible way of existence, you know? Um, and the European settlers that got here left behind journals and letters and everything. And every place in there, there's always that line that says something like, these dirty, ignorant, barbarian savages, usually goes on a while, um, don't even know about farming. <laughs> well, if you're in central Texas, anybody know who lives up in northeastern Texas? Cows. We call them the Caddoan Indians now. It's the Caddoan Dacho, Hassanai, Wichita, those people. They're settled woodland farmers. Who's in New Mexico? Big apartment buildings? The Puebloan Indians, right? Mm -hmm. Settled urban farmers. The guys who live here, they know all about farming. They just know something else. This is a stupid place to farm. <laughs> okay? So they unfortunately didn't leave letters or journals. I wish they had because they'd probably say something like, oh, these white people are trying to farm. I mean, it's a ridiculous place for farming, and it's a really hard place to make a living. So it's a really wonderful place for hunters and gatherers to live.